Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is another giant jumbo siege figure from the Deformation line. I'm not sure exactly what brand, if he's Aoi Toys or not, or Tabo, because this Megatron did not come with a box. Now this figure here was sent to me by Patriot Prime subscriber Kevin, along with a couple other KOs, so big shout out to Kevin for lending me this figure. Now, of course, Siege Megatron is a figure that we're all pretty familiar with since he has been released five different times. You have the first release of Siege Megatron, the 35th anniversary release of Siege Megatron, the Combat Hero Generation Selects release of Siege Megatron, and my favorite, the Netflix release of Siege Megatron. Now, the fifth release was a Generation Selects version of Siege Megatron with a Matrix accessory, but I thought, man, I've got four of these guys, enough is enough. Not to mention, the Siege Megatron mold was slightly retooled to create Earthrise Megatron. So yes, we are all familiar with this mold of Megatron. Now, my first impression with this Jumbo Siege Megatron was, wow, this guy is huge. He's big, beefy, and solid. But the only difference I really noticed right off the bat with him compared to a regular Siege Megatron is the face sculpt. If you see, the face on the Jumbo Megatron is a little bit more squat than the Siege version. The Siege version has a longer chin, where this one, it's kind of shortened. But still, there's no doubt that this is Megatron. Pretty much the same sculpted details all the way around with the pa same paint applications. Nice silver face, the evil red eyes, the blue and yellow down there on the stomach control panel. Not as much battle damage, thankfully, though he does still have some smudges on the legs. Articulation, exactly the same. You got the heads on a ball joint, can look up and down all around. Arms, can do a complete 360. And... Ratchets. <clears throat> I love ratchets. There is an elbow bend, though it's on a soft ratchet as well, and very tight. Bicep rotation. And let me see. No wrist rotation, but right here, there's something new. He actually has wrist covers, and they are very hard to get open. <clears throat> there you go. Get your fingernail in just right. That's something the Siege Megatron was lacking. I believe a lot of third-party companies added little filler kits for that. So it's really cool that this version added these wrist flaps. That's so awesome. You got waist rotation. Legs can go forward. They can go back. They can go out. They can go in. There's a knee bend, knee rotation, ankle tilt, and check this out, ankle rotation. I never realized how much I missed ankle rotation until I got this guy. That is awesome. Bring in the regular Siege Megatron, no ankle rotation whatsoever. So I do like the fact that they included that. 
Now, unlike the Nemesis Prime figure that I showed off in my last review, this Siege Jumbo figure comes with both his weapons, the Fusion Cannon and the Giant Sword, which makes sense because those are needed for transformation. And speaking of transformation, let's go ahead and take a look at Megatron in tank mode. In tank mode, Jumbo Megatron is just as impressive as he was in robot mode. This tank is big and heavy, and I love it. Great paint applications. You got the headlights right there on the front. I love the paint applications here on the barrel with the red and the chrome. It looks really, really good. Transformation is exactly the same as the Siege version with one slight difference that we'll show you here in a moment once I bring in a Siege Megatron to compare. If I can get these guys both on screen at the same time because that's a lot of tank taking up a lot of space. So as you can see, big, big size difference there. Now, the big major complaint that everybody had with Siege Megatron was the feet that just hung off the back. I mean, even as far as the core figure was concerned, Earthrise, every tank Megatron has the damn feet hanging off the back. So, now that you see that, let me bring in the KO Jumbo Megatron, and Hasbro could have easily fixed that with the ankle rotation. Check this out. Move the feet up, rotate the ankles in, and fold them up into the tank. And there we go. It's still not great, but my God, look how much better that looks. Just by adding ankle rotation, Hasbro could have vastly improved the looks of their Siege Megatron in tank mode. So yeah, another great addition from the KO company. So there you go, guys. There's the Jumbo Siege Megatron in tank mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is the Jumbo KO Siege Megatron with Generation 1 Megatron, Combiner Wars Megatron, MP36 Megatron, War for Cybertron Trilogy Netflix Megatron, and Kingdom Core Class Megatron. This giant Jumbo Siege Megatron figure really impressed me. Of course, I'm a huge Megatron fan anyway, as you can probably tell by all the different Siege versions of Megatron that I already have, but I love this guy, especially with the additions of the arm flaps for the forearms and the ankle rotations. I just think that is so cool and pretty ingenious. Tank mode is glorious as well. Huge, big, beefy tank. You can't go wrong. Now, as much of an old school G1-er as I am, I am okay with Megatron being a tank. It actually makes sense to me, so I love it. I think this is a great figure. It's really only missing one thing. And there we go. Much better. Kevin, I hope you didn't mind. Now, I know that KO figures are quite divisive in our Transformer Collector community, so I'm not going to tell you where you can find one of these figures. But hey, we all have Google. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!